Before we get to that, there's another business story I find very curious and of interest, and that has to do with Toronto having its first stock market-themed restaurant and bar that opened today in the business district. And joining us on the line to tell us how this is going to work, Amar Sohi is a co-owner and director at Cocktail and Company. Amar, good to have you on the Oakley Show. Good afternoon. No, thank you, uh, John, and good afternoon to you and your listeners as well. Now, today's opening day, isn't it? Yeah, it's a big grand opening day for us. Well, has it already opened? How's it working? We we did a soft opening and we got a really, really positive response uh, from our guests. Well, tell me how this would work. If it's uh, drink prices that fluctuate, uh, as one would see with stock prices on the stock market, and they're posted on the digital displays in your restaurant, how does that work? Uh, you know... Uh, we at CKTL and Co. use a unique software, which is designed to literally mimic the stock exchange and create a dynamic market pricing system. So the ticker boards, um, they're located all throughout the restaurant uh, and then gives, you know, updating regular, uh, regularly updating their prices uh, based on the popularity of the drinks. All right. And so, uh, okay, just as it would with a stock, the popularity and how many people want to buy or sell accordingly. So uh, what would be the fluctuation uh, radius of, uh, you know, where a drink could go to the high water mark or come, conversely come down? About what, would, what would that uh, window be? So, so the price of drinks will never go above the listed price, whatever the guest sees on the menu. So there's always a deal uh, on some drinks, you know. And even if the guest sees the price has gone up by, like, say, for example, $2, it's a, it, it may still be less than uh, what the actual listed price on the menu is. Well, I see. So there's a, a ceiling then that you can actually take a price to. How many drinks would be posted then on the menu? Uh, so, uh, so uh, like we'll have a regularly rotating uh, drink menu. By all our popular cocktails, as well as uh, you know, all the most of our beverages will be on the, on the uh, menu on the ticker tape that will be displayed. Uh, and then again, based on uh, the supply and demand, uh, and that can be changed uh, as, as it goes. What inspired the idea? Where did you get the impetus for this? So, uh, you know, considering, I know, uh, to launch a new concept, you know, people have been sitting at home for a long time because of COVID. And, uh, you know, it's something new and exciting for, uh, you know, the guests or people, especially in the finance industry, to come and enjoy. They've been working from home for a bit, and then now they come back to a new concept and kind of mimic uh, what they see at work. All right. And so it does replicate. I guess being in the financial district is necessary to kind of have this hook, right? Oh, definitely. That's that's an edge for people who work uh, in the financial district. However, the, you know, we, our food um, and, and our drinks like catered like diverse, uh, uh, you know, population. And it has a, like that draws international aspiration, which remains approachable with you know, other bar favorites as well. Yep. Food, by the way, is not listed on the fluctuation, uh, the fluctuating board, is it? No, no, not at this time. It's strictly uh, restricted to drinks at the time. I see. And so uh, this is just dependent on, I guess, supply and demand, as it were, uh, or popularity. And uh, the change would happen in real time, you're saying, uh, based on whatever the orders that are that are coming in in real time? No, definitely. You know, the, the, the way the the, mar the concept works is, you know, it's just like a stock market. You put your bids in, and once somebody cashes out or somebody, you know, actually pays for the stock, that's when, you know, the price will fluctuate. And then, again, at any given time, if, say for, for example, five people order the same drink, they will pay the exact same price. It's not that one person will pay less, other person will. But once the price changes, the next round they purchase, it might be different. So conceivably, if a, a drink isn't moving, uh, would the price then drop accordingly? Yes. You know, and the, the way the software is designed, like if one section of drinks uh, are going up, something else must come down. So it's not that everything is going to keep going up. Like if something goes up, just like, you know, um, people are buying, for example, tech uh, stocks. They're, they're certain company and somebody else's stock is not being bought. They're going to go down. Hmm. Okay, well, almost like a penny stock. Uh, maybe you know you want to order about fifty drinks, uh, but no, there's a, a minimum as well, a floor. You can't exceed or go below a certain floor because the Alcohol and Gaming Commission has determined uh, you can't have these kinds of loss leaders at happy hour and so on and so forth. Is that not correct? 
It does, definitely. You know what we are, like, you know, that took us a while to kind of, you know, we want to stay within the confines of the restrictions and our uh, options from as per AGCO again. Um, so our minimum drinks, there's certain minimum we have set up and nothing drops beyond that. Uh, the key is uh, at any given time, everybody buying the same drink will get the same price. That's just, And again, and if something drops, something else will go up, but their minimum doesn't uh, go beyond a certain limit. So how's the reaction in the soft launch you were saying earlier? I mean, it was very popular, and today being your official opening, uh, people are really cottoning to this then? Oh, oh, we are very excited. You know, and we have nothing but positive and positive feedback uh, from all the guests and the customers we have seen, uh, especially, you know, what, and the people who are actually not in the stock market or financial district want to ex- have an experience of stock market. They can actually come and enjoy a drink as well as have fun time with the friends, enjoy good food, good ambience. Well, yeah, not for a good reason, but the uh, stock market actually has uh, run on drinking for the longest time, I think. Uh, I'll let you go on that note, Omar, uh, Omar rather, and uh, wish you the best with your uh, new gambit here, co-owner and director at uh, CKTL Cocktail. That's the sticker uh, uh, tag on uh, the big board, Cocktail and Company. Uh, very good, right there in the heart of the financial district. Nice to talk. Thank you, John. Have a good weekend, and hopefully uh, we'll get uh, good news by Leafs playing next uh, game they win. <laughs> <laughs> well, if things don't work out, believe me, uh, there's going to be a lot of folks ordering drinks all across town. Uh, oh, Marceau sure. again from Cocktail and Company.